the Graves Motorsports oil cooler kit for the 2023-2024 Kawasaki ZX4RR. So we've been developing this motorcycle from a street bike into a race bike over the course of the last year. And it's, we've made a lot more power, which generates a lot more heat in the engine. And one of the things that we have happen with that is that the oil temperatures rise. And so we've developed an oil cooler kit that helps stabilize the oil temperature from the start of the race to the end of the race. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you a little bit about the cooler and then talk about how the motorcycle was originally designed and how this will help stabilize your engine performance from the start of the race to the end of the race. So when we're developing a race motorcycle, we're creating the bodywork. And there are a lot of the holes that are filled. One of the things that are mandatory is that you make a a set of lowers that can capture any oil or fluids that would come from the engine in the case of some sort of failure. And so that holds a lot more heat around the engine. And if you look around to the front of this bike, you'll see that we've closed off this area down here on the lower chin. So all of that is part of the aerodynamics and the, um, the fluid containment system. So when you do that, you, you have less airflow over the engine. And the way Kawasaki de designed this bike, that the engine cases would help disperse the temperature from inside the engine. Normally, with this motorcycle on the road, you, would, you wouldn't be you know, sitting at 16,000 RPM, you know, uh, sustained down a straightaway making 90 horsepower, you'd be making 70 horsepower, and you'd be most of the time cruising in the mid-range uh, of the RPM, five to 8,000, 7,000, and the engine stays plenty cool. So when you build the race bodywork, that holds in more heat. When you, when you make more power, it makes more heat. When you run higher RPM, it makes more heat. And the oil temperature is critical. When you get over a certain temperature, the oil stops working well and, and the rings don't seal. So we need to keep the oil temperature at a, cert, at, at, a, at a certain level so that the performance of the engine maximizes over the course of the race. I'm gonna pull the lowers off and show you what some of the things that Kawasaki has done to help disperse the heat and then show you our system, how it's uh, plumbed onto the motorcycle. But I'll show you, this is the main body here. This goes in place of where the oil filter went in the front of the engine. And you can see these are the passages that the oil comes through the center into this cavity. This is where the oil filter now mounts. And then um, it goes through the cooler back to the other side and it returns to the engine. It's a pretty cool little kit, a little plate. It has a nice titanium bolt fits down inside and replaces the stud into the case. And it actually makes it a lot easier to replace the oil filter um, when you're servicing the motorcycle at the racetrack. So I'll show you the rest of it. Some nice little titanium bolts that come with, uh, they're pre-drilled for safety wire, both the big one and the three that hold the body together. So this is a beautiful little setup here. And um, yeah, really proud of the, the engineers that developed this here at Graves. Nice piece. Let me show it to you on the bike. So one of the things that's really cool is the oil cooler that we're using mounts directly to the bottom of the stock radiator. And we have a line plumbed in on one side and out on the other. And you can see how this body actually sits on the engine case. And then the oil filter screws right up into the bottom of it. And I was telling you a little bit uh, earlier about how Kawasaki had designed the motorcycle to use the engine cases to disperse some of the, the heat out of the, the oil. You can see here on the bottom of the oil pan, you see how it's finned? Well, 
that works sufficiently for the you know the intended use of the motorcycle but once you go on track and you close all this stuff off you need, you need a more sufficient way of cooling the oil so that's one of the reasons um i i tend to stay away from putting the plastic engine protectors on the outside of the engines because um they the plastic protectors hold the heat in and they don't let the engine cases flow the you know air over the top of them and help cool the engine so that's why we prefer to make everything out of uh, out of aluminum when we do it so I'll show you a little bit about how the kit is designed and why we feel it's necessary for a race bike in testing previous to installing the oil cooler kit we saw oil temperatures that would reach as high as 160 C, which is very hot for oil. We really don't ever want to see above 130 C for oil. With the oil cooler kit, we've been able to stabilize the oil temperature below 120 and reduce the water temperature of the engine by pulling some of the heat out through the, through the oil. The other added benefit is additional oil in the chamber and in the oil cooler.